How would you react if you died, were buried, and then revived still underground, only to then suffocate and have the cycle continue? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-2679, The Many Graves of Jeanette Parslov. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-2679 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures a 5km fence perimeter has been established around SCP-2679. This perimeter is to be maintained as private property by MTF Nu-5, Blind Watchmakers. Efforts to prevent SCP-2679's ongoing expansion are underway. New SCP-2679-B instances are to be exhumed at regular intervals. Any observed changes are to be documented. Description. SCP-2679 is the site of the Sleepy Oak Meadow Cemetery, located 45 kilometers northwest of Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. SCP-2679-A instances are graves found throughout SCP-2679. As many as three new instances of SCP-2679-A have been observed to emerge in a single day. Tombstones will extend upwards from the soil, a process which takes 4 to 12 hours. These tombstones vary in size and shape, but are otherwise non-anomalous. Each bears the name Jeanette Parslov. Coffins appear approximately 1 to 4 meters beneath each instance, and contain an instance of SCP-2679-B. Instances of SCP-2679-B are the remains of various organisms. To date, personnel have observed over 1,000 SCP-2679-A instances, Manifestations continue to expand out from the center of SCP-2679. Research into methods to prevent the emergence of additional instances is underway. Addendum 2679-1 Autopsy Findings Subject, SCP-2679-B-12 Examiner, Dr. Richard Briner External Examination Adult Human Female, Height of 1.62 meters, Mass of 45 kilograms Abrasions on fingers and knuckles. Internal examination. Physiology consistent with typical young adult, otherwise unremarkable. Inspection of lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia, or insufficient oxygen supply to the lungs. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. No matches in foundation databases. Notes. Hypercapnia, the elevated carbon dioxide levels in the blood, is likely the cause of death. Presence of physical trauma indicates prolonged struggle before the subject succumbed to hypoxia. Subject, SCP-2679-B-75. Examiner, Dr. Richard Briner. External Examination Human adult female, height of 1.65 meters, mass of 48 kilograms. Acute albinism, characterized by lack of skin and hair pigmentation. Severe abrasions on forearms, hands, and digits. Cutaneous avulsions or complete removal of skin tissue on distal phalanges. Presence of numerous subungual splinters. Internal examination. Unremarkable. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. Near identical match to SCP-2679-B12. No other matches in Foundation databases. Notes. Hypercapnia is the likely cause of death. Physical trauma, including significant interior damage to the coffin, suggests a prolonged struggle and possible self-mutilation. Subject SCP-2679-B-129 Examiner Dr. Julia Blair External Examination Adult human of indeterminable sex Height of 1.72 meters, mass of 53 kilograms. Acute albinism. Subject lacks hair, androgynous, vellus, or otherwise, visible genitalia, or secondary sex characteristics. Severe abrasions and dermal avulsions across subject's body. Several lacerations present along forearms and fracture in the left radial bone. Both eyes extruded, or forcibly removed. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Examination of cranium reveals minor yet significant cephalic abnormalities. Pelvic bone used to determine sex. Female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. 
Additional X chromosome, XXY, indicates Kleinfelter syndrome. But with atypical presentation, subject's skeletal system presents as female, not male. Close match to SCP 2679 B 75. Notes Hypercapnia was the cause of death. Evidence suggests damage to eyes was self inflicted. Subject SCP 2679 B 526. Examiner Dr. Julia Blair. External examination Human of indeterminable age and sex. Height of 1.79 meters, mass of 62 kilograms. Acute albinism. Subject lacks hair, androgynous, vellus, or otherwise, genitalia, or secondary sex characteristics. Deformities include supernumerary phalanges or additional knuckle bones at fingers and anophthalmia, the absence of both eyes. Severe abrasions and lacerations across subject's body. Numerous fractures and breaks are present, particularly along the maxilla and nasal bone. Three teeth, two from the maxilla, one from the mandible, are broken. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Significant reduction in size of frontal lobes. The portion of the brain responsible for personality and cognition. Acute hyperplasia, or the enlargement of organ via increase in cell reproduction in amygdala. Pelvic bone used to determine sex. Female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis indicates significant deviations from human DNA. No matches in foundation database. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to the coffin led to its collapse. Subject was crushed beneath the weight of the soil, preventing respiration. Evidence suggests damage to face and jaw were sustained during repeated strikes against the coffin's lid. Subject, SCP-2679-B, 985. Examiner, Dr. Richard Briner. External examination. Bipedal humanoid, height of 1.95 meters, mass of 89 kilograms. No discernible sex, age, or reproductive organs. Acute albinism and lack of hair, androgenetic or otherwise. Extensive deformities are present and include, but are not limited to, expanded mandible and lower maxilla, acute hyperdontia, specifically 15 additional teeth, 7 in the maxilla and 8 in the mandible, atypical dental morphology, elongated secondary phalanges, protruding approximately 5 centimeters from fingers and toes, an ophthalmia in both eyes, and a recessed or absent nasal dorsum. Subject has severe lacerations and dermal avulsions across its body, along with acute swelling in the abdominal region. Internal examination. Approximately 20 kilograms of soil removed from stomach and intestinal tract. Severe structural aberrations throughout subject's skeletal, pulmonary, and central nervous systems. Laboratory data. No matches found in foundation databases. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to coffin led to its collapse. Forensic analysis of gravesite indicates subject persisted in burrowing upwards for 20 minutes before succumbing to hypoxia. Addendum 2679-2. Recovery. On September 2nd, 2014, reports of an expanding cemetery led to the discovery of SCP-2679. In addition to 14 instances of SCP-2679-A, nine non-anomalous graves were found. All were exhumed for relocation. Of particular note was a tombstone with the following inscription. Jeanette Parslov, 1994-2014 Daughter, sister, mother, wife, you were far too young to lose your life. Whatever it takes, do what you must. Whatever the cost, come back to us. Upon exhumation, the grave was found to be empty. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you could click over here for another video I made, or you could click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.